This is Suicide Prevention Month, designed to raise awareness of an epidemic. Every 90 minutes, someone between the ages of 15 and 24 takes his or her life. The young woman you're about to meet tonight was 17. Her parents share Alexandra's story with Jim Axelrod in our continuing series, Eye on America. Tonight was beautiful. I saw the moon, I saw the stars. The home video will look so familiar to so many parents. The sweet little girl singing and dancing her way to her teen years. Alexandra where she's recognized for achieving outside the home. And please consider me for the National Honor Society. And thoroughly cherished all right. inside it. Okay. Like, this was awesome, Alexandra. She was such a happy girl. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. And so motivated and so just full of life. Dear Alexandra. But familiar happy will turn to terrifying when parents hear the whole story of Alexandra Valores. Just weeks after a family ski vacation, give a smile, this 17-year-old high school junior, straight-A student, class officer, and robotics whiz, made her bed, tidied her room, and walked to a highway overpass in Grafton, Massachusetts. I leaned over the embankment and looked down and I saw her. Dean Valores. Alexandra's father. I was just hoping for warmth. Do you know what I mean? But there was no warmth that was done. Then all the cars kept driving by. My daughter's on the side of the road. Nobody saw this. And she's cold. Nearby, Dean and his wife Alicia found two journals in their daughter's belongings. There was just so much joy in everything she did, and it doesn't match what was in that journal. 200 pages of self-loathing and despair. You are broken. You are a burden. You are lazy. You are a failure. She was a highly motivated achiever. Mm -hmm. But that's how she felt inside. Such a sharp and confusing contrast to who they thought was their happy oldest child, strumming her way through adolescence and still talking to her parents. You're having all these great conversations. Great conversations. It just doesn't seem possible, but it's what reality was, because it's written right here. With teen suicide at a 40-year high for young women Alexandra's age, and now the second leading cause of death for 15 to 24 year olds of both sexes, it is this disconnect that most haunts Dean and Alicia Valores. The girl who seemed to love it last November when her father took her to a concert, went home and wrote, I hated it. I hate myself for that. The journal is a chronicle of deterioration. I think yeah, so. I'd say so. I think so. Which is why they're taking this pain public that most keep private. Headlining suicide prevention walks, giving in-depth interviews about their daughter's death. The hurt, the sadness is evolving. And now there's this thing called living. So that I'm a good father, good husband, and a good person. They hope that in sharing the story of their daughter, maybe another family will be spared this trauma. What will I miss by dying tonight? The possibility of getting better. There's a lot of other kids out there that are like her, that are high achievers, that are balancing a lot. That's what makes her very relatable and why maybe it's affecting people and why they're listening is because I have a child like this too. And in the pain of what Alex wrote to her parents in her final entry hours before she took her life, don't blame yourselves for not seeing warning signs, is also what the Valores family hopes to salvage from her death some meaning for others. There's so many emails. In June, the morning after an interview was published, they found this note on their doorstep. What you have said in Alexandra's article truly changed my life. Knowing that families are talking to their kids about their mental health, it lets me know that she didn't die in vain. She's having such a huge impact. And that feels really good. It's hard to talk about and process this story. 
Um, Jim, I know that you and producer Wendy Cron spent months working on it. How is the family doing now? Well, it's been a little more than six months. So many levels of pain and devastation to process. I, I do think it's extremely important that we thank Dean and Alicia Valores for being so open with us in discussing their daughter's death. Those journal entries are brutal to read, but sharing them is their way of prodding other parents to check in with their kids even those, or especially those, who don't show those classic signs of being at risk. And they already have helped. Uh, for a list of resources on suicide prevention, we should mention you can go to our website tonight at cbsnews.com. We'll be right back.